Greetings guys, welcome to the channel. My name is DJ RSC and on today's video, I made this Afro House track and I'm trying to break it down for you guys so that you can see what we do when you make such Afro House. It's a very slow one, it's also soulful. And again, on top of everything, I'm trying to actually review this plugin that I just got. So basically on almost all of my, almost all of my sounds, I used this particular plugin. It's called the Fabric XL or just Fabric XL. Let me show it to you. This is Fabric XL. Looks like that. Yeah. It's a plugin by Akai or people from Air Music Tech. And it has turned out to be a good plugin. I would lie to you. Uh, it has turned out to be a good plugin. Just I want to play you the song as we go, how I build it up. And then at the end of the video, you can tell me if this plugin is off it or not, you know. So without wasting time, man, let's break this down. I'm going to start this with the drums. So I started with a kick. If you follow my channel, you know most of my kicks they're just too straight and we're doing dance music and then just doing it like that and the next thing is this and i added some shakers as you can see and then these slabs here. My bad. As you can tell, everything just uses the same groove basically. And then let's play them together here. It's a very simple drum loop and then we come here add some shakers here shaker loops and then these ones and then you can also add um, a transition Amazing work, so simple. And so now let's get to Fabric XL. Now I went in, I found myself a guitar from Fabric XL. Sounds like this. So. There's like a nice 12 string guitar. Sounds like the nylon, yeah, no, yeah. And then I added some strings here. Yeah. Let me play the strings alone. Emotive strings. Let me know what you think of this plugin so far. Uh, it has a lot of knobs and whatever things that you can change, you know. So for today, I was using the presets from it. Probably changed the filter there and there, but it's like that. And then I added a pad from it. It's called Pet Slow Retro Retrograde, basically. And then that's what it is. And then let's get to a synth that I used. And if you notice, most of these, I didn't even put anything on 
on the mixer channel except for this one uh which one is that 20. Mm, the pets i think i'm just cutting oh this 19. emo the strings as well i wasn't actually adding anything because it was just um an automation here yeah. so it's there's nothing to it this is just an automation so that's what it is so far and then let me play the song how far we are now now that we are here Right, and then I added a piano. I had a studio grand piano. And then, as you can hear, it sounds dope. And I added another pen. can hear very amazing music and then I added a bass line here I used like an indie bass and on top of that I just added these vocals um, got them from splice online and then they sound like this And I feel like I've done something nice, especially when I didn't even have to do much on on the mixer. There's nothing, as you can tell, there's nothing at all. And then the bass, everything is just like that. And the song actually sounds legit, you know. And then so I'm just going to play you from here. And then you guys tell me what you think, you know, tell me what you think of the song. Uh, tell me what you think of the plugin. Uh, is it really worth what it's worth? You have to go check it out in. You have to go check it out online. Just check how much it's worth. I'll see you guys on my next tutorial. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and comment. Those are the things that really help the channel to grow. And thank you so much. Peace.